Greetings and salutations, everybody. Dan the Wolfman here in... Lightweight Commanders. Back off! Don't make me! Back off! Don't make me! Today I'm hoping to answer the question for you in the great age-old debate of 9mm versus 45 ACP. And to do that, we're just doing table type right now. I'm going to go to the range. I'm filming my advanced gunfighting series. And I'm going to film five advanced gunfighting drills that I teach and number 9, 10, 12, 13, and 16 to evaluate the difference between 9mm 45, some on multiple three targets, some on just one target, five drills, 32 rounds out of each doing those five drills and then you will you at the end will be able to see the hits everyone says that well nine millimeters so much easier to hit with than 45 and 45 recoils so much and then you got those that say 45 doesn't recoil so much because they're talking about a 40 to 42 ounce 1911 these are not these are both 30 ounce lightweight commanders so basically as close as it could get 30 ounce 9 millimeter, 30 ounce 45 ACP. So I'm going to evaluate and maybe you could go frame by frame and see is the 9 millimeter just a little bit quicker? Does the 45 do more damage? Does the 9 millimeter have more capacity? Does that really matter? Well, does it really matter? If you're in law enforcement, perhaps it does. But perhaps being able to desegregate the bad guy to make him uh, less of a deadly threat quicker, maybe that also matters. So in single stack 9mm, getting one or possibly two more rounds, do I think that's a fair trade-off? Absolutely not. In a double stack 2011 style, does it matter? Yeah, absolutely. Am I going to tell you how many this holds? No, it's none of your damn business, and I don't know uh if i mentioned it in the unboxing that you should go watch on this bull now i have friends and friends let me borrow guns and gun manufacturers send me guns and they go back so i don't always have everything but the 45 verse 9 millimeter 30 ounces that's not too heavy to carry that's a great carry weight in the 1911 platform, four and a quarter inch barrel is a great for reliability. It'll be very interesting to see how they do. People say, well, the nine millimeter recoil so less, but in a moderate, moderate to advanced shooter, is 45 recoil really all that bad? To make it fair, I'm not shooting 115 American PUD loaded 9mm. I'm shooting hot European 9mm 124 in comparison to the 230 grain ball. If you wanted to carry PUD loaded 115, I'd use 185 grain 45 ACP. But these are the rounds that and the bullet weights that these cartridges were really designed around. So I think you will find it interesting to see. Let's look at the competitors. Friends, let me borrow. I just put on these beautiful Aluma, Aluma grips because I have a set that Aluma grips sent me and I wanted to show them off a little bit and they are thinner. They're the thinner grips. This really makes this a very thin pistol, which could really be helpful for concealment and for people with small to moderate hands and their trigger reach. This should give them more trigger reach, which is something great about the 1911 platform is that you can change to beautiful personalized grips. Now, if you want to look at this beautiful Bull M5, I suggest you go check out my unboxing video. I guess not enough people know about Bull Armory made in Israel and how wonderful their firearms are. 
I did a four part series on nine millimeter versus 45 if you really want to understand ballistics, but let me just tell you right now, while most people can get split times better with nine millimeter, 45, it's not as big a difference as everyone makes it out to seem if they're an actual good shooter. And the 45 ball does 62% more tissue crush than the nine millimeter ball. Just take a look there at the bullet profiles. Well, come back this way. There we go. Just look at that. Now in hollow points in an XTP or critical duty, and I'm talking real gel because clear gel doesn't really matter. Real gel FBI protocol testing. A XTP or critical duty does about 1.6 times as much tissue crutch and HST compared to HST does 2.12 or 2.13 times, whether it's plus P or not, versus the comparable 124 plus P HST. Now, can this do it from a four inch barrel, 124 plus P HST? Yes, from a four inch or longer barrel, that's pretty good. But the 45 SWAT teams in the 70s, 80s, I don't know, what do you think? Does capacity really matter? To civilians, there's enough shootings that happen that you need 8 to 11, 12 rounds, okay? And so this was originally 7-round magazines. Owner said, well, it came with a really good 8-round McGar magazine, which is actually cool. But for even better reliability, you might want a Wilson Combat 47D 8-round or a 10-round magazine. Now, 8 plus 1, 9 rounds of 45. Can you get the hits? Shoot three bad guys, three rounds at each bad guy. That's probably enough to handle it. I like 10 plus one a lot better in 45. And nine millimeter, 10 plus one will probably do it, but 12 plus one is a whole lot more comfortable in nine millimeter. So anyway, guys, watch the highlights of these five advanced drills. Hope you like my advanced gunfighting series. And stay tuned to the wrap-up to see how the hits are that I mark on each target. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and let's check it out now. I don't carry a 1911, just getting back into them. So here we go, we're gonna go center, left, right on my three targets. Okay, from targets online. All right, so we're gonna reholster there. We'll be able to tell a difference, I believe. I'll call them, I got two 10s here, still on the 10, not X. One breaking the line X or 10, one almost breaking the line 10, call it a nine. We got a 10 on the line and we got a nine here. Everything is good, upper thoracic shots. Let's go to 45 caliber, lightweight commanders. All right, and I think even better hits with the 45 that I'm unfamiliar with. Looks like I got two here. Thought I'd be able to tell them. Looks like I got two here and Everything's 10 zone there. So you don't want any trouble, man. Back off, dude. Hey, man, I don't got any beef with you. I don't want any trouble, man. Back off, dude. Back off. I'm not used to sweeping down the external thumb safety. 45 X perfect on the 10 ring and 10 perfect there. All right, let's go to nine millimeter. Hey, back off, dude. Back off, I don't have any problem. Definitely seem faster, and to make things fair, I'm using 230 ball, 45, but 124 hot European ammo here, like NATO, what they were designed for. 115 to 230 wouldn't be fair. Let's check the hits. And uh, 10 ring and in the 10 ring. So one on the line, one here, and one a little low in the jaw. So 45s. Nine millimeter, slight advantage to the 45. In the Did not get the best grip. We'll see how the hits were. And I am a little slow. I'm don't carry 1911s. Just getting back into them. Let's see how bad the hits are. Not very good. All right, nine and just in the eight there, but that's pretty good. That's probably an artery actually. Here and a little low on the headshot and the jaw. I got nine ring, nine ring low, but still good, pretty good upper thoracic, perfect 10. Nine, eight, that eight is not acceptable, that's too low, and that's not acceptable, that's in the jaw. I'm better than that. Let's see how I do with 45 from appendix, tolster, 
holster, jam custom Kydex. Get back in that fight. All right, let's see how I did there on the hits. With the old 45, perfect 10 and 8, still upper thoracic, about 4 inches apart, 4 and a half inches apart, that's not bad. Still a little low, just below the 10 ring, that's still good there in the nose. I believe I got a 10 here and a 9 there, and perfect 10, that's good. Looks like I got, I think a perfect 10, one also low in the 8, second time I did that, that's not great. And a perfect 10 there. So those belly shots, definitely not uh, the best on the right target. Probably my, my second shot in the double tap. <laughs> 11 rounds, a 45 ball. Half of them in basically one jagged hole. All 9 or 10 ring. All right. I am very, very happy with that. I'm gonna pause here to show you and then tape it up and we'll get back at it with the nine millimeter. I don't get to practice this one a lot. Never done it with a 45 1911 before. Do you think those 11 rounds were effective on this bad guy? I got one, two, three in the nine zone. Rule lawyer, that's a 10, breaking the line. So what, we got eight rounds. One, two, and six all touching each other. Perfect upper thoracic there, 45s. All right, let's see. I got two in the nine ring and nine in the 10 or X ring, three in the X ring. It looks like, well, four, one break in the line. So two just a little low in the nine and the rest in the 10 ring. Both probably very effective with good hollow points. Can you do the car walk? Have you practiced from the car position? If you, even if you gotta stay static, be safe, elbow in, structural support. Did my daddy Steven, did my daddy Steven ahead of his time? He doesn't want to pay his child support. He's not getting back to me. Then, hey buddy, I don't want any trouble, man. Hey buddy, keep your distance, please. Hey man, I don't want any trouble. Hey, keep away from me, please. Back off, don't make me. <laughs> hey guy, I don't want any trouble, man. Hey, keep a distance, please. No, I got nothing for you. Back off! Don't make me! And that third shot seemed pretty bad. And this one is empty, but it must have hit the slide stop. It did not lock back. Getting really hard to tell. I believe that that's nine mil down there. That's nine mil there. So one on the uh, in the nine on the ring. One in the ten zone. And hard to tell, but they're both the same score. Nine millimeter there. 45, 45. In the 10 ring, in the nine ring, but more towards the heart. That's okay. Compared to these two, actually the 45 wins. This one, the nine millimeter wins. That last shot with the 45 was bad. I pulled low right, and I did know that. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman in my nine millimeter versus 45 lightweight commander 1911s. 9mm versus 45, I'm going to share with you the results. They may not be exactly what you think. Now, I didn't time everything. And on certain drills where there's not a bunch of transitions, the 9mm might have been a bit faster. This is from my Learn Gun Fighting series. I filmed drills 9, 10, 12, 13, and 16. So I shot 32 rounds out of each platform doing those five drills, some on multiple attackers, some on just one, at uh, different yardage, three, five, seven, and a seven, a five, a seven, a close range CQB car walk. So it's very interesting because I am not a 1911 shooter. I'm just getting back into them. Above and beyond that, the nine millimeter 1911, I've shot about four to possibly five different times. The 45 1911, both are 30 ounce lightweight commanders.
very, very fair. The 45 I had never shot before. I've mostly been shooting a 9mm. At least four range trips out of five, three to four out of five have been 9mm range trips. Results may interest you. They're not exactly what you think. Let's look at the bad guy on the left. Both got five rounds. And unless I made any mistakes, the, the in black tape are the 9mm hits. In beige tape are the 45 hits. And I was comparing 230 grain ball to 125 European ammo, pretty hot ammo. So it would be more fair. Okay, not 115. So you got... The hits in black for 9mm, hits in beige for 45. Doing the math, we got three 10 zones from the 9mm, one 9 zone, and one 8 zone from the 9mm for a score of 47. In the 45, we got uh, four 10 zones and one 8 zone for a score of 48. The 45 won out here. Was it a tad bit slower? Perhaps you could redo the videos. I tried to time stuff, but my range timer wasn't charged up. I couldn't find the micro USB to charge up my range tech range timer today. Let's go to the right bad guy. Nine millimeter. Here's our hits. Okay. Black for nine millimeter. Base for 45. That's a lot better than that. Nine millimeter. Two ten zones. Two nine zones. And one eight zone. Sorry, I am losing the light. It's about to be pitch dark. Okay, and it was very cold out here, and I train in very dark lenses to particularly make it difficult since most shootings happen at night. The 45, I got uh, four 10 zones and one eight zone. The 45 went out 48 to 46 over there. It was 48 to 47, I believe. Let's look at the hits again. I don't believe I've made any mistakes. I've autopsied the targets, the attackers, the best I can. And the main guy, sometimes only him, he got the most. There's our hits. Looks very similar, right? There's our hits. In fact, the two, two headshots were 10 zone with a 45. One was too low with the 9mm. Again, these are transitions, multiple attacker drills. Look at my whole Learn Gunfighting series. I'm up to 16 so far. I do have 30 drills I want to film to make you better able to protect good life yourself and others so we got 16 10 zone with the nine millimeter it looks like it was hard to spot one of them but i think that's what i got was 16 tens with the nine millimeter and i think that last one was just on the car walk and it was a little bit faster on the car walk if you look at the frame if i started shooting in the same position than the 45 but that's on one attacker when you're talking multiple attackers and whatnot i got six nine zone so 160 plus 54, 214 points with a 9mm. With a 45 lightweight commander, 15 10 zones, 6 9 zones, and 1 bad 8 zone. And I did know it when I shot it. That was the last drill. I'm getting cold. I'm getting tired carrying both pistols. I pulled that one low and right, and that was this bad um, 8. I think, so I had, what, 3 8s today? 3 8s total, everything else 9 and 10 zone. So I pulled that. So that was 212, 9 millimeter, 214. Had I not pulled that shot, let's call it at least a 9. It would have been 214 to 213. And so on this guy, 9 millimeter is slightly better with hits. But, ballistically speaking, 45 ball is 62% more damage. Tissue crush. And people don't understand it. Look at my four part 9 millimeter versus 45 series. I think I only have three public. Okay. And. Hollow points, if you compare hollow point to hollow point, XDPs, critical duty, you know, you're looking at about 1.6 for uh, most hollow points. 45 does more tissue crush. If you look at HST to HST, it's up to 2.12, 2.13 times more tissue crush. Meaning, if you hit the CNS, probably both the same. That's very lucky. Doesn't happen all that often. You need to desegregate the guy enough for him to, you know, lose blood pressure and lose accuracy until he stops being a deadly threat, which could last about 55 seconds. Very often, even with multiple pistol hits. Pistols are not shotguns or rifles, but everyone that tells you calibers are the same is lying their butt off. They don't understand how important expansion, how important diameter is through the whole part, volume of the cylinder. That's what it is. That's how much tissue it destroys. That's quicker blood loss. So... Results are 
on this guy the 45 got better hits on this one just barely nine millimeter eked out on this guy 45 uh, slightly better hits but very very close and if you're making the same hits and again this 45 i have not shot before and i've been training mostly with nine millimeter with an advanced shooter with a good shooter 45 recoil is not bad at all and if you have the right platforms that matters these were both 30 ounces commanders same length barrels it can't get any closer than that. I think tissue crush. And I carry 9mm most of the time. But tissue crush does matter. So hopefully you've enjoyed this 9mm versus 45 1911 Lightweight Commander series. Something to think about. Especially with possibility 8 round or 10 round. You know Wilson Combat Magazines. Something for you to think about. I had no failures with either pistol today. 32 rounds out of each. And uh, anyway guys. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. And hope you enjoyed this video.